and this is Stitches TV. Hello Lulu. Hello. Hi. Right, so Lulu, have you ever used a sewing machine before? Um, about 20 years ago. And yeah. today what we're going to make is one of these. So for this tutorial, I like to use vintage scarves. Now I buy my scarves from a lovely guy called Rob the Dog, Dog the Rob, Rob the Dog. He's on Fridays at Portobello Market and he categorises all of his vintage scarves. And I straight away go towards all the tourism scarves because they're like picture books. Okay, for this tutorial, and actually for quite a lot of my tutorials, I always revert back to my good old 60s raglan sleeve pattern. But you might not be able to get hold of that. So I've also found it in this Berda style magazine. This one's from February 2012, and it's actually in the maternity section. I like these scarf tops to be, so you can either wear it at the back or at the front. So what you need to do is tweak the pattern a little bit. So basically I'm cutting two backs and I've changed the sleeve so that we've got two backs joined together to make one sleeve. I've folded over my scarf, one of my scarves that I want to be the main part of the t-shirt, okay? And I'm gonna lay my pattern on top of it. Now, as you can see, we can't fit it in. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold that back, allowing for a bit of a, a seam allowance there. So I'm gonna fold that back like that. And then for the upper part, I know I still need to cut that bit out, out of my leftovers. Okay. So for the moment, okay. let's just think about this bit. I was gonna say that people would expect me to wear scarves on my head because of my alopecia. Oh, true, true. And this is a victory for me, not yeah. to be wearing a scarf on my head, but to be, yeah. you know, putting it on here. And anyway, yeah. I actually didn't really ever wear scarves. You can't hide without no. hair, that's the worst bit. Oh, I would be able to hide that? more, but, but anyway, so I'm really happy to not put in, be putting that there. So it's quite it. a liberating moment then. Yeah, because. Yeah, cool. Well, here comes another liberating oh moment because God. you're going to have to cut it out. Oh. Now I'm going to come around here and hold it for you. Oh my goodness. Can you just try Follow the line. Just roughly, it can be just roughly. I'm going to support the fabrics. <laughs> just hang on a okay, sec. Okay, oh my God. Right, you ready? Off you go then. <laughs> my uh, my mum, both layers, aren't I? Yes. Yeah, yeah. My mum's go got slowly. dressmaking shears that are a foot long. Oh, and really? she cuts our hair with, well, when I used to have it, she used to cut our hair with it. So she was a pattern cutter? She was a pattern cutter at Raymar's wow. factory in Durham. It was wow, just shut after 40 years. Oh, big deal. Yeah. And so, she, go, so sorry. Go on. Going back to your alopecia. Yes. How long ago? It happened in June 2008. So in nearly four years as we're in uh, so was May. It, was it very gradual 2012. or just quite uh, it, suddenly? It, Two little bits appeared in my long blonde hair either side above my ear. How's that? That's perfect. So if you can just make a little notch there, that's okay. one snip in where that little triangle is. I'll take my glasses is. off now. Oh, I've got, really? I've got to get closer. and I'm long-sighted and short-sighted all okay. in one go. Uh, what's the notch for? Uh, we use them as landmarks because I don't like to use pins. That's perfect. Snip. Yeah. Just a snip, not just a V. No, that's fine like that because okay. we'll see it. Now, remember, I always say that the cutting out, it's not a boring bit, but it is like the laborious bit, the fun bits when you actually get to sew. But we will be there soon. So, do you remember we folded over that material? So I'm just yeah. going to quickly cut across here for you because that can be a bit tricky. Okay, it's always handy to have a little notch that signifies the middle of things. Okay. So I'm going to put a little notch in there, but not too big. And that bit there, I can't... Yeah, I'm going to I show you. I can't understand why. Okay. Because so, isn't it supposed to be all yeah, one bit? No. Yeah, very good. Well, what we're going to do, because we couldn't fit that into the, the yes. width of the fabric yeah. there. So I now know that I need to cut this yeah. now yeah. with a bit of a seam allowance. So I can take this off yeah. and I've got to find a piece of material that I like that will be that little bit up there. Oh, so you have got a seam here, so you can yeah, see it isn't all Yeah, there. I mean, yeah, I actually, actually took that in, that's got a seam there, but you won't have that on no, yours. Okay. Right, so I've got this bit, which I really like. Mm. So probably that's the bit that's going to show there, the red. a bit of red. Yeah. yeah. But I need to cut it this big at the moment. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put these, these are the leftover bits from the side. And let's just make sure. Yep, just about enough. So with the seam allowance there, 
So I'm allowing extra. So that's my line. Yeah. But I know that underneath there's about a centimetre more. Mm. So shall I just quickly I cut that? Should, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Because <laughs> there's not much room for manoeuvre. No. So then we've got the top bit. So then what's going to happen is, is that that gets attached onto there. And then your neck will probably come to about there afterwards. So the neck isn't the red bit? No. Okay. We've got the bottom half of the, the front and the back. Okay, but there wasn't enough to cut the whole pattern out of the width. So then with the remaining part, where's my pattern? Sorry. So with the remaining part that didn't fit in, which is this upper bit here, I use that to cut like a top yoke out of the little bits that were left over. So essentially it's going to look something like that. Right, so now for the sleeve. Okay, so what I'm using another scarf. I'm using another scarf for the sleeve. Now you like this Holland bit, yes, yeah. is that correct? Yeah. And you like the funny little dancing people. I like the little, people. I like the little dancing people. Okay, and should we see what will fall on the back then? So do you like the upside yes. down windmill? Because yes. it has to be upside down. Yep. Now we're going to cut out the sleeve. Yeah. Okay, scissors. Okay. Oh, we. Yes, yeah, we, we, oh you. God. Right, well done, Lulu. You cut the sleeves out. That's really good. But you were asking me, she was asking me, uh, sleeves, how are they sleeves? That's so, it. That's yeah. Like a bit. So that, that becomes a dart. And basically, it's just that part of the sleeve there. Okay. But I you'll see. see later. So, what we've got to do is the first thing that we need to do, the first seam we're going to sew, is to attach, you'll be fine, <laughs> to attach this onto there. So, I'm going to start you off and put your foot on the pedal. Oh I bet you know what you're doing a bit. I, I honestly, do. I've got an antique. Right, all you've got to have in your mind is to keep the same distance away from the edge, which could be the width of that foot there. You're sticky. Fingers are sweating now, isn't it? And okay. holding this. Yeah. That's all you have to think oh about. Oh my god, right, okay. And feeding it through. Off you go. Oh, oh this is. <laughs> Maybe take it a little bit. Don't pull it though. Don't pull it. What no do you mean pulling? take it? What do you mean take it? I don't know. Guide it. <laughs> I mean, it's all slippery, slippery fabric. We're being very ambitious doing this. Okay. Right, so look, always know where you're going. Yes. So you've got to end up there. It's got to be the same sort of... Like, are you nervous? Yes. Don't be nervous. It's only a silly little kiddie sewing machine. Well, I know, but I was just thinking it looked quite high tech. <laughs> go, go. And one more. Stop. Brilliant. Now, do you know about release? <laughs> <laughs> do it's I know about right, release? It? Oh, yeah, you lift up the back and you Go pull on it then, out. let's see. So lift up, the, lift up the thingy. thingy. <coughs> so look, so that basically goes there. Wow. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> it's really nice. So Lulu's done both of them. She's done the front and she's done the back. Now she's not finished yet because she's got, you've got a zigzag. Okay. What's that for? Strengthening or something? Uh, well, it's just, you know how you get all these frayed bits? If you zigzag okay. the edge, it sort of seals Stops the edge. And, and, you know, in industry they would use an overlocker, oh, yeah. but most people don't have overlockers My in their home. Got an overlocker. Actually, really, I've got one as well, but it needs new brushes. <laughs> um, so, so that everybody can do it, I just use the zigzag on the sewing machines. Yeah. Now, when you do the zigzag, you don't have to go backwards and forwards, but you line it up with that middle bit there you get nervous every time we do oh. this don't you like, when you line say it, the middle yeah see the middle of that foot that there. doesn't look like it's the middle of the width though no because you're going to be going over the edge over the, you'll oh see. it's got to go over the yeah. edge yeah start it off and see what happens okay i don't really yeah don't you need fine. to hold it yeah oh god <laughs> no you're all right go on. oh yeah that's great see how see how it just yes brilliant I see what it's doing. Yeah. I thought it was going to do all of this width, but it's just yeah, doing the no. edge. I thought it was doing the uh, yeah. from there to there. I understand. No, that's good. Okay. Does it get caught up in itself if it no. shoots off the edge and a bit? No, and it can actually go faster. Can I? So that's pretty good, isn't it? How did you feel doing that? Did it feel um, weird? Yes, very weird. Did it feel weird because you're coming off the fabric? Uh, no, I think it just feels weird because I've never done a zigzag stitch before. <laughs> but do you like it? Yeah, I do really it's like good, it. It's good, isn't it? I mean, it's a really practical thing. Yes. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we've got to press this seam. You know how much I love to press the seams. Oh, no, we don't. We have to zigzag the other one and then we'll press the seams. So we've pressed this bit. Look how nice it looks. Now, if we didn't press it, it would look like that, which is pretty rubbish, isn't it? 
So for the sleeves, we yeah. need to close off this dart. So what we do, we fold it over, mm. make it flat like that. And I want you to sew from there, coming past this little bit here. And I want you to stop just above that flower there. Okay. <laughs> yes. Can't wait. Don't sew. Shall I start you off and show you on the first one? Would that make yeah, it a okay, bit easier well, for you? Well. So you go backs and forwards at the beginning. I'm using the edge of the sewing foot as my guide. Okay. And I'm just going to go straight past the opening. Yep into nothing backs and forwards okay all right so it should look something like that so we'll get you to do the other one okay <coughs> let's have a look do you want to have a look yes. so we've got that which will when it's pressed become that oh, a bit more down. speed eh? yeah a bit more speed <laughs> shall i tell you where you're going to finish be conscious of not stretching the fabric out of shape and your finishing point's going to be about there Forwards, a bit more. That's very good. Now you can release it. <laughs> now you can release it. It's like a golden shot. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we've got two of those, mm. right? And now all we've got to do is just zigzag them and then afterwards we have to press them okay. so they're all nice and flat. Okay. Right, so press these. Yeah. So now Lulu. This looks what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to look like yeah. and it looks really nice. Yeah, it does, does it look yeah. really nice? Yes, yes. Sorry I don't mean to put ideas in your head. <laughs> right so um, sleeves. So what we need to do put right sides together and we're going to attach that onto there. So I'm going to start you off with this one. So slippery fabric. We've got a lot of tricky things to deal with here. I'm matching up with that little arch there on the sleeve with the arch on the armhole and your mum will think you're amazing she will yeah. to, no really she will because she will absolutely know not on zigzag whoops <laughs> she'll absolutely know how difficult it would have been for you to Tiny work with fabric. this fabric yeah well it's just slippery and we've yeah. got it on the cross and and mm. stuff like that so i'm just going to sew down this one and then you're going to do the other one okay so so Lulu, look, yes. so I've zigzagged it as well, yeah. and you're going to do that too. Yes. And then when it's opened out, I haven't pressed it, so look. I'm going to wear it when I go home. <laughs> oh, you mm -hmm. really? i wear it on the bus. Well, you've got your red trousers <laughs> on, so it will yeah. be perfect. <laughs> so you're going to have to do that other one now. So you're going to sew right sides together. We're going to put those there, and you're just going to stitch all the way down there. Following that shape. Yeah. Okay. Oh God, Lulu. That's lovely. So are we on camera? Jeans. Oh Lulu. <laughs> look at that. I'm it's telling lovely. you, look, it looks really, really nice. It's really, 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 nice. really nice. And that's why we use scarves. Mm. You couldn't buy material like this, could you? Look yeah. at that. And it's got a history and a story. And you could use like your old granny scarf, so it's even sentimental as well. Right, so we've attached both of those sleeves onto the front, even though we don't really have a front and a back. So now, that's the back, or the front, um, that's the back, so now we need to do exactly the same to attach the back, but there's a really important thing, mm. really important thing, because we're going to be applying ribbing. Let me think, right. So The ribbing for the neck, you mean? Yeah, yeah. now when, when we stitch up the last uh, sleeve, We've got to remember to leave about two inch gap. Mm. So what that means is, for the very, very last one that we attach, for the very last sleeve that we put on, I want us to leave a little gap of about, don't work in inches, four centimeters, about that. And then you'll find out why in a minute. So we've done the front and we've done the back. We've put the sleeves on, we've zigzagged the, zigzagged the edges. I've left that little opening there. It doesn't okay. matter which sleeve you do that on, does it? No. Just the last sleeve? No, it doesn't. It doesn't, yeah, just the last sleeve. And the reason why I've left it open is because when we apply the ribbing, do you remember me saying that we were going to apply ribbing at the end? Yeah. When we apply the ribbing, so that you don't have to get involved in complicated uh, measurements and things, what I want to be able to do is take that ribbing so it just goes off into that seam yes. and at the end I can just stitch up the seam. I've also left the opening 
so that you can try this on. Yep. Okay. And uh, over what I've got on. Over what you've got on, I think, or maybe not. Yeah. Well, we're gonna. Have to, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, take this maybe off? not, because I'm gonna be cutting it, and I don't want to cut your top. It's lovely. She looks so good. Does she look so good? <laughs> My God. Right. So don't be alarmed. I'm not chopping her um, <laughs> neck off or anything, and hopefully I'm not. It's only the first time I met you. So, so yeah. Next time I'll chop it off. <laughs> um, so what we're doing now is because. It, very often when you have the patterns, they're not like slash neck or an interesting neck or anything and because we did two backs, it'll be quite high. Mm. So because you've got that opening on, it means you could get it over your head. Okay, so that's one reason for the opening. And also, this is the time, I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm actually quite So you're nervous. making it lead on. Oh yeah! <laughs> so I'm just giving it a bit of shape, but I'm remembering also that it's going to have this ribbing on there. Mm. So I think we actually want to, do you want to go and look in the mirror? Yeah. So we find our little opening, which is at the back, and that's where we're going to start to apply ribbing. Okay. Now if you can do this, you can do so oh many, God. you will, you'll be fine. So we're putting it in that little opening there. And what you have to remember is this, just have in your mind, you have to stretch the ribbing. Not you have to the to top. Oh, right. You have to stretch the ribbing. Right, so we're going to okay. take it now to as the sewing sew machine. Oh, okay. As you sew, it'll be fine. You'll see, it'll be absolutely fine. Do you you'll lay, see. You've laid this in the gap. I've laid it in the gap, okay. yeah. I'm going to start off without stretching, going backwards and forwards. And now I'm going to stretch the ribbing mm. and it will curl, but not the bottom. So I do a little bit. Then I move along to another little bit, uncurl these things here. No, you'll be fine, I can hear the stressed out size. Okay, so stretching the ribbing. Yeah. Right, Lulu's coming to the end. I think you found it quite tricky, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Yeah. I thought I was doing better than I actually was. Yeah, wore. no, that's all right. It's so tricky because they're slippery. So backwards and forwards now. Right, so this is what um, Lulu's done. Okay, now when we press it, it will all go all lovely yeah. and professional and flat. Okay. But before we do that, we just need to zigzag all this horrible stuff. To stop it fraying. To stop it fraying, inside. yeah. So you've pressed, pressed your neck. Yeah. Okay, now the thing that you... <laughs> <laughs> Could you? <laughs> yeah. Could you? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that way. Um, the thing about pressing the neck is try to remember to keep it as much in the original shape as possible. And we'll probably fiddle with it a little bit more afterwards. But we need to close this seam. Capture the ribbing just into the seam. So that's a good way to finish off the ribbing. Okay, we've done the ribbing on the neck. Yeah. Now we're going to fold it over, right sides together, right sides together. Yeah. Now I'm going to do one side just to show you how to do it okay. and then you'll do the other side. But what I will say is you're effectively stitching the fabric on the cross, which is the diagonal. Which makes and it more stretchy. Which makes it more stretchy. I've been listening. See, mm. some of it's rubbed off, all that pattern cutting <laughs> mummy stuff. <laughs> so you can give your, well we've got a notch, haven't we? We did notches before. So you can work between the notches. Okay. So, wow. Lulu, zigzag the edges, stitched up both side seams, took it all the way round into the armpit. Yes. And done the ribbing on the neck. Are you ready to try it on? Yes, please. Yeah, let's go. But look at that. You would never get that in the shop. And how long did it take? About an hour? Yeah. About an hour. 